YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, The Traveling Beard, and I am back with another video. I know it's been a long, long time since I put out some uh, constructive content, some content that will move the needle, content that will help you in your journey, but I am back. Sorry for the delay, I'm back. I'm back like I never left, and I'm back with some, uh, with a good one here. You see the title, you see the title. Before we get into the video, comment, like, share, subscribe. Hopefully it's informative. Share it to somebody who may need to hear this. Share it to somebody who may need to know this. Now, time to quit sterile for processing. You see the title. The reason why this title it is how it is labeled is because me and a co-worker were talking and they came to me confided in me to say listen i think i may need to quit traveling man this is just a lot and you know that's not the first person that stated this to me but as he was telling me i didn't get enough time to you know actually go back and forth with him just to try to pick his mind because uh for one you know we was we was working and on top of that i was gearing up we was gearing up to leave gearing up to leave for the day so you know at that point we was kind of i was kind of zoned out as far as work i was just done but um like i stated previously like i stated a second ago this is not the first individual that stated this uh, there are a lot of reasons travelers are just kind of fed up with how things are going uh, and I have some, uh, I have a nice list on why travelers are fed up, okay? There is a list. So, these are the four reasons that travelers are majority just ready to stop traveling. This is what is making people just want to stop traveling altogether. Now, the number one is going to be a shocker. It's not what everybody thinks, okay? It's not what most people think. But let's get into the four. Let's get into number four. Number four, lack of support, okay? Lack of support. When you're traveling, you know, you have a support team. Your support team is primarily the company that sent you on the assignment. Most travelers are not feeling that support from their support team, which is their company. Unfortunately, me, I am blessed to actually have a good uh, company and a good recruiter who, you know, we chop it up. I, even more outside more things outside of work so you know we have a good relationship on that end but most people are not lucky like that where they're not able to um, converse converse back and forth with their recruiter a lot most people recruiters you know the stories that I hear recruiters don't even contact um, their the people that they send out for jobs until it's time to either renew and most recruiters are asking the traveler to find out if it's possible if you can reach out to your manager to be uh, to stay longer so you know a lot of travelers are not feeling that support you know they a lot of travelers just aren't they just don't like that most people like support most people need support when you are going to a new state i think that the traveler and the company bond that there is supposed to be that it is not there uh, most a lot of companies need to work on some type of you know bond to get closer to the people you're sending out and i know that you most companies are sending out an influx of travelers from nurses uh cnas pas rns you know uh, radiologists people from all all the parts of the hospital so they don't really have time to just stick with you each week but you know it is it is very important that uh, companies show some type of support for their travelers okay that's number four number three number three is housing oh my god housing has been one of the most interesting plays since covid before covid housing with um airbnb simple easy housing with furnished finder simple easy craigslist simple easy uh even hotels simple and easy ever since covid happened 
for some odd reason, anybody who is within Airbnb as far as um, house owner, they just subscribe to believing that everybody is a nurse and they're making like so much money. I, I'm kind of confused how every person is believing everybody's a nurse and they make it, they're still making that money. I had to tell um, the prior pri house I was at, he told me a story how um, a traveler was there and once COVID happened, he ended up going to New York City and he was making eight grand a week. And, um, you know, he was living like a king. That's what he told the person that I'm sitting at his house at. And I had to tell him, like, you know, that that was that was probably true. Uh, and I believe that was happening. But the issue is nurses aren't even getting those rates anymore. Nurses are complaining about the pay that they're getting. Everybody across the board is not getting that. Th those, those high rates, those those COVID rates are done. That's a wrap for neat though. So, you know, a lot of people are still banking on people staying in their house and charging them triple, double the amount of a, of a regular, and you're just staying in a room at that. That's crazy to be paying two grand, 1300, 1500 for a room. You ain't paying for the house, you ain't paying for half the house, paying for just a room. So, you know, that's kind of, you know, it just, distasteful it's just like you know a lot of people kind of just fed up with that as well you know the whole searching for a house then when you get to the place it's not what it seems to be from the from the listing it's just too much and then living with people personally i hate living with people i'm not a fan i don't want to live with nobody i don't want to see i don't want to see you every day when i'm coming in from work some days i don't want to talk i, I just want to make my food take a shower and go to sleep. I don't have to bypass you to do all of that each time. So, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. That That is a huge reason why a lot of people are are, are wanting to put a hope on traveling at the sterile processing test. Number two, okay? So this right here is what everybody is agreeing upon across the board. Everybody feels this should be number one, but this is number two. Number two, is the money okay it's it's the money the major companies right now let me let me say so I, I normally do money mondays and i normally highlight companies that um that you can get a, a good pr uh, price for you know over two grand week you know within that ballpark i usually try to highlight companies like that there have been a uh Probably, um, let me say the, the big four. The big four companies back in the day before COVID. MedPro Staffing, Aya Healthcare, uh, Cross Country, you guys are in there too, uh, RN Network, uh, there, there is a, it's somebody else. It's somebody else. It's, so, it's five actually, it's somebody else. It's a big five, it's somebody else. I, it'll hit me later at some point, but the, it was five companies that were controlling everything, that the rates were decent enough before COVID. You know, you was able to survive off of 15, 1600 a week. You know, you were able to have a decent housing, you know, save a lot of money, take care of home. You know, you was able to do a lot. Those companies that I, that I, that I named, Majority of them, their rates have not changed in in years. I've seen a, I've seen job postings for uh, MedPro dealing with uh, Metairie Hospital in Louisiana, in New Orleans, right in New Orleans for twelve to thirteen hundred. That rate has been that rate for the past ten years. Let me repeat that. That rate has been that same price for the past. I've been traveling a long time. The reason why I said that rate, that the reason why I know it, because when I first started traveling, I took that that took that assignment, and I was there getting about thirteen, a little over thirteen hundred a week in, in in New Orleans. So I know that and this was like about ten over ten years ago, and you can't tell me that. That the price, that everything has went up. The cost of living has went up. Food has went up. Gas has went up. You know, the daily, 
your daily day of life has gone up. Why on earth is that rate for MedPro still the same? And that's not the only company. There's, there's a, the four that I named, those companies are still doing the same thing. So they are refusing to put their rates higher. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of those big companies are weeding out. Most people are going to the new companies. There are a lot of new companies that, are, that are jumping into the field. So they're throwing their hand in the race. So I would, I would, I would suggest, you know, I, even though I'm giving a criticism list, this are the four reasons why people are leaving. I want to tell anybody, if you are interested in becoming a traveler, stick, stay away from those companies because those companies' rates are not moving. You got to get with a new company who is just new in the field, who has money to give up to travelers, you know, to, to educated travelers who are proficient within their work field, okay? So I would say go to a new company, dig, put your foot in a different couple of baskets, digging with different companies. Don't stick with those major four. Even though there's five, I got to figure that out the five, but there's five companies. But uh, there are those companies, get away from those, okay? So that is the criticism with this list. And I have to give some, some type of an example where you guys could uh, benefit off of it, all right? Number one, number numero uno. Most people are burned out, man, burned out. That's what, he, that's what the gentleman told me when he was telling me this. That was the first, that's the first thing he said, you know what, listen man, I'm burned out. He said, the traveling, you know, I enjoy the money. The money is, is really helpful, the people I'm able to meet. But the burnout part is just the, the being stressed of not knowing if you're gonna be there for another three months. Having to play, having to kiss up to people you don't really like. You know, he stated, you know, having to, you know, Oh, rub hands with people, shake shake people's hand, kiss babies. You know, a lot of politicking, it comes to within this field of, you know, even if you want to stay at a facility that's making good money, you have to do a lot, man. I At the current facility that I'm at, I seen people just get kicked out of there for, for some bull, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's crazy, you know, it's a lot of politicking you have to do. It wears on you, you know, and not not only just to add that, you being burned out, you add the rest of those three things that uh, the other three things that I named on this list, you you damn near gonna catch a seizure. You're gonna catch a stroke just trying to figure out your life, man. You gotta figure out where you're gonna stay. You got you got too much, too much going on. So those are the things that are making travelers decide to pack it up and go, you know. If you have any of, of these issues, you know, there are ways to, you know, negate this, right? So let me help. Okay, let me help. I, I gave you guys one answer as far as for number two, find smaller companies that have some cash flow that will be able to give you what you want. You know, you have to have, you have to have a list of demands for yourself. So number two, so for the money part, find different companies, smaller companies, not them big companies that, that aren't giving out much, out much at all. Number one, to, let's get to number one. For you guys not to be burned out, you have to take vacation. Vacation, you have to take time to yourself. You, you Working every day for a company that you're not benefiting from other than a regular paycheck is not doing you no good. If something happens to you, they're gonna find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You have to take time off to just to subtract subtract your mind from work altogether. You know what I'm saying? That is really key, really key. So those those are the main two. Being at those top two that everybody always states, you know, being burned out and the money situation, the housing situation. That that's a tough one. It's hard. We all gotta figure that out somehow. You know, there you have to just live further from the hospital and make that trip. You know, but uh, that's the video. Hope you guys understood what was going on. That's a lot of reasons why people are deciding to pack it up and maybe become full time. You know, the next video we'll talk about how to what you should be trying to get if you become full time. I'm out, guys. Peace.